So here we are trying on our new soft armor we offer in a partnership with a firm which makes this type of gear. And we're going to check it up whether it's actually easy to put it on, how much time it takes and how comfortable it is. So let's start. I will start with the legs. That's probably the longest part because these legs have this uh, extra rings which we use for extra security. I will start with the knee this time. Yeah, so you put this knee part into proper position and then you can go with all these velcro straps. There are actually five straps overall. Four of them have to be put on this way through those wings. Yeah, which, you know, takes a little time, but yeah, it's better in terms of comfort and security of the whole system. And it actually doesn't take long. It's easy as far as I see. Yeah, and you can, yeah, if you need, you can adjust it later. That's what I'm going to do here. Hmm, nice. Nice, I like it. One more leg to go. I will start from the top this time. I think it actually doesn't matter. I'm just looking for the, you know, my way to make it easy. Yep. It is easy. And it feels like it's not gonna slide down, I love that. Yeah, this probably was the idea of this extra straps and a lot of... Yeah, the things actually, they don't let this Velcro to go down or anywhere. Yeah, so it makes the whole system better. Yeah, here we are, surprisingly, so fast. All oh, those things, yeah, if you need you can string it up to the belt or something but I don't feel I actually need this it's comfortable super cool uh, this is a body part and it has this uh, velcro on the back so normally you put it on like you put on a brigandine uh, visby brigandine but because I have this already adjusted to my size I will just do it like I'm going to do it every time I'm using this armor for actual practice Yep, here I am, fast, easy, squeezing in. Yeah, and so here's the helmet. Uh, it is size adjustable, it has this extra thing on the top for extra protection. And you are getting in a little bit different in comparison to normal medieval helmets. So you don't just put it on, but you a little bit squeeze in from the back. Yeah. And Yep, and then you have this part, so you just make it tighter and your size. Yeah, I'm just doing this, you know, third or fourth time, and it's already relatively easy. Nice. So, this one brace, which is actually like a very optional thing. I'd say for this uh, type of practice, because, you know, it's a soft armor. And then this fist and the sword. The sword is heavier than a uh, LARP weapon, so it's going to be a good transitional thing for LARPers to go heavier formats. It's closer to SC8, maybe a little lighter, but if you wish, you know, it can be made heavier and heavier up to the weight you actually need for HMB and things like, you know, for heavier formats. And, yeah, and this protective fist, which is basically will help you to adjust to this fighting style when you have something on, on your hand. And this shield, which is also soft and you can hit with that. Yep, here I am, ready to fight. I like it. 
Yeah.